hey guys, in this video I'm going to be taking you through the chemistry of permanent, permanent and permanent induced dipoles. There is a big difference between them and it's really, really important that you are clear on the differences and on the differences between these um, interactions and the other types of interactions that we get in chemistry. Good luck guys. I know permanent dipole, permanent dipole interactions is a little bit of a mouthful and it's quite a lot to write as well. But please, please, please write it out in full. Do not use any abbreviations. You will not get credit for it in the exam. To understand which compounds are going to have permanent dipoles, you need to be familiar with the electronegative elements on the periodic table and you need to be really familiar with working out polarity and electronegativity in compounds. Here is my video from FET. I strongly suggest you go and look at that so you can start to become familiar with working out dipoles for yourself. Dichloromethane is going to have a permanent dipole setup. So this end of the molecule is going to be more negative and then this bit is going to be more positive. What happens is when we get a positive end of our compounds and a negative end of the compounds and this happens in every single um, compound within a field it is going to be like having a set of magnets. So the positive ends and the negative ends are all going to line up and this is going to form the permanent dipole, permanent dipole interactions between all of the compounds in the field. In a permanent dipole induced dipole interaction we have something that has a permanent dipole so has a shifted electron clouds and that is going to take the even electron clouds of the, the thing that doesn't have a dipole and shift it. It is going to induce a dipole with in the compound that wouldn't normally have a dipole. So this is good for when you have a mixed cloud, so a cloud of a hydrogen chloride and a cloud of chlorine gas. The hydrogen chloride, which has the dipole in it, is then going to induce dipoles in the chlorine. <laughs> 